Uh, you guys head to the Kalenta Estate. Um, as you guys get closer, um, Aaron will say, please give me a moment to alert the guard on duty, and I will be able to bring you into the house. Um, the Kalenta Estate itself looks like it's in a little bit of disrepair. There's, I mean, it was at some point painted a dark brown color and has the, um, the same sort of tiles that are in the city and that really aren't in the countryside very much. It's actually the only building in this small little town that's around this estate that actually has these sorts of tiles on the, on the roof. Um, oh, the colored tiles. Yeah, the colored tiles. Um, his are, a, again, the same color as, as walls probably used to be, a, uh, a darker brown color. Um, and there is a symbol of the house that's put into the glaze on the roof. Um, the house has been dissolved. Yes. Yes. Um, it does not look like it's in incredible disrepair. It just doesn't look like it's had any money put into it recently. Um, and so Aaron walks up to the, the front gates, um, and you see him pause. Was it one on a base of operation? He pauses near the front door, and you can tell that he's actually speaking to someone on the other side of the door. I mean, and then after a second, he walks. Oh. He walks back to the front gate where he left you guys and says, "We may enter, although." The guard on duty says that Poggle is not currently present. Oh. Wait, did he has Poggle left or did he vanish? I did not ask yet. We'll find he out. Leads you guys into the house. Um, I'd hate for one of our little adventures to ever get boring. <laughs> or simple. Alright. As you guys um, head into the house, uh, as you guys walk up to the house, the door opens, um, and there is what you would kind of expect more to see from a guard. Um, there's a guy who's wearing uh, a chain shirt that is obviously magical. Um, he has a sash rather than one of those tabards with the symbol on it mm -hmm. uh, of the house. And um, he's he, kept the symbol. He has kept the symbol. Um, he has a buckler with a spike on it strapped to one of his legs, and on the other leg is a set of three swords um, of varying sizes. Um, he kind of nods and says, uh, "It's a uh, Warren, by the way." Um, as you guys walk up, he says, "Ah." Welcome to the Kalinta Estate. I imagine your guide was not very talkative. Please, please, come in. Um, mm. I apologize that the master is not home right now, but you may stay here until he returns. Where'd he get off to? Did he leave or did he vanish? I am not entirely sure. Oh. Sometimes he gets very talkative before he vanishes, and he was a little talkative before he disappeared. I Did he do say not anything know. that made sense? Some of it did. Um, did you see? He... <laughs> we're like talking to him as we're walking yeah, in. Yeah, you guys are all walking in and seeing the inside of the house. The house looks very nice. That's um, great. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> um, as you get, he, he leads you into one of the, the rooms and you guys can sit down. He, there's a lot of places to sit. And there's a whole section in the back that is one giant cushion that you would be able to, to sit right. down on. There's enough space for three quarks to sit on that cushion. Um, so they make the quarks in the back, eh? Yeah. I see how it is. Um, so he says, uh, his ramblings are sometimes hard to discern, but he remembers a lot of being a hunter back in his younger days, and recently he spoke about hunting. He may have gone into the marsh to hunt. How long does a hunting trip take? It depends on what he believes he is hunting. He has never brought anything back successfully from a hunt, nor has he ever returned harmed in any way. I'm not entirely sure that he actually goes into the marsh when he hunts, although sometimes he drains back with him a lot of mud. What's, what does it taste like? I do not generally taste the mud. <laughs> it's important to know. It does smell of the marsh, though. What? 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 Now, if Woodwind had asked a question... I was going to say, okay. how close, how close is the Bogart Marsh from here? Um, no, the them. marsh doesn't isn't like a hard no. line. It just starts well, to kind of sometimes turn into the marsh. Vision. You guys are maybe a day or less from the beginning of the marsh. So this is this is probably the the last manor house um, between <coughs> here and the marsh. And then you've passed a couple manor houses along the road. Yeah, the way out here. The taste. Nah. And we're not far from the coast at this point. You're still not far from the coast. You guys are. You could probably walk to the coast within a day. Can we go to the ocean and sit in the wood? It was like a solitary and good place. So when he leaves, See you, guys. you don't know when he'll be back? No. It, again, depends on what he believes he is hunting. 
sometimes when he believes he's hunting boar, he's gone for quite a long time. Um, the ramblings that he went through there, he talked about boar, but also about bear. From what, honestly, it would be disingenuous to tell you that the talks beforehand gives you anything to know other than he's gone hunting. When did he leave? He's been gone for three days. Bear. Here. Toy knows that trick, doesn't it? Um, yeah. What, um, hmm. what was the level restriction on the um, rituals that we could pick up? You can, you can cast anything of your level or lower. No, I mean that were available in the store. Um, the only ones that are available that are 10th level or higher are on the list that it gives you. Okay, so no. one through nine. Oh, gosh, no. right. I couldn't do this, not with. Yeah. <laughs> so he says he's been gone for three days. Let's go after him. I need to be tracked. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea of either going after him or you could introduce me to any of the guards that know some good dice games. He goes, ah, it'd be excellent to see a game of dice. How, what, what, what kind <laughs> of day is it? I am the only guard on duty currently. There is, he looks over towards Aaron. I'm surprised Aaron, even with his own talkative self, did not inform you. There are three of us that rotate out. Right, so we're the ones that I can take ice cream. Or cards, either way. What's our what time of day is it? Can you say something to um, meet the opposite? This would be no. a little bit before midday. Mm -hmm. We made it to the Pagos Estates. Which human store did he head out? Uh, he headed out the back. He spent some time discussing with himself in the garden. I followed his tracks away so, from the estate to make sure so that he had actually huh? left so the ground and sister wasn't sister? huddled up in one of the greenhouses. Does he do that often? Depends so on what his mother is talking about. On you, I take Sometimes he forgets that he is I don't think my friend. Work. It is a, a difficult condition to watch. But I am uh, glad that I did not know him before. Sickness is very common for people who encounter this creature. I've seen a couple of other cases of it around here myself. There's he, a spear. He was We're looking for it. Did he take the spear with him? I'm, I'm not familiar with the spear, no. Hmm. I, to my knowledge, he doesn't own a spear. Well, that's not true. He, he's, uh, there are some spears in the library, but I don't believe he's touched them in years. Shores. He but kind of she, motions for you guys to come up and follow. Like, May we? <laughs> he, he he goes into the to the library. Basically, the the spears that are on his wall are decor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're basically meant for looking at, not actually doing anything. Hi, here's a cute shiny spear. So, Ron, do you think what would know in the other other crazy sprite that we may be able to sort of concentrate and find a, find a magic weapon somewhere in? And about it, and just sort of by by feeling for it. Oh, easily. Um, yeah. Uh, sure. How um, do Said look for the signature. Out of character, um, that is a sprite racial ability to be able to find um, magical uh, residue, basically left on by anything else. Um, they are able to locate something within a certain number of squares, depending on their arcana check, um, and see anything that's made by someone that they have already met within that area. So you may go ahead and make your arcana check. Yeah. We met the maker. I successfully assist. Uh, am I going to need better than a 30? You're not going to need better than a 30 to yeah, get no, the entire our first house grounds. Oh, okay. Um, you, guys, you can stand in the middle of the house and detect wow. the entire house. Um, there, are a, there are a lot of minor magical items in the house. Yeah, which would be a um, mm -hmm. Basically, most of the stuff, almost everything here is magician level and doesn't seem to be made by anyone that you recognize. Mm -hmm. um, there is not anything. There are a couple of things above magician level, and they're being worn by um, the two guards. So, okay, and no. us, <laughs> and, right. and you guys. The, the uh, you, can you can tell actually that there is um, in the upstairs in the master bedroom's closet. Mm -hmm. There is a magical sword that is kept in a box in the upstairs closet. There's a sword in a box up there, but there's no spears. The sword in the box? No, is the, it no, it is the other traditionally, spray. or is it something that was given to him recently? Um, the one the one guard that's been there the whole time, or that that's at, on duty at the state. Um, his name I will have to go and figure out real quick. 
Um, he goes, uh, and then right as he's about to say something, um, uh, Aaron? Aaron puts his hand up and says, I'm sorry. And he puts his hand like this, and you can feel the sword disappear from up, upstairs and materialize in his hand. Hmm. He says, that blade is mine. I keep it there for when it's needed. And he turns his hand over, and the blade vanishes. Uh, that's like that one toad that was yeah. running around with us for a little while. Yes. Right now. Right, which she would snap her fingers and then the sword would appear and then she'd stab things with and it and never go away. And then she would throw it and catch it with her tongue. Right. That was a neat trick. It a, well, it, 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 a neat trick. Mm -hmm. So you saw that and you was thinking, wait, right, it'd be a good thing if I could throw my hammer and grab it with my tongue to put it back towards my face. My tongue was that long. But it's not. Huey goes sneaking. <laughs> Her not really know, sneaking. But... Huey goes out the back door. Uh, She's going to looking. Hmm. Where would one go? It was akin to the time when you saw Phoebe. While they're, while they're uh, checking for magic, Huey's going out the door. She's going to be seeing right. if she can It trip. was. She went okay. heading, heading out the door. door. Um, the one guard whose name I can't remember um, will come with you. Um, and the other guard will stay in the house while you guys are still there. Um, going outside, you can see that while the the house itself looks kind of like it's falling into disrepair, the garden out back is actually in excellent condition, and it's very, very large and pretty. The Ooh, manor house itself is about maybe three quarters the size of the garden out back. Um, that looks to be in very, in very good condition. Who maintains the garden? Um, this oh, wrong. we all do to a certain extent. Poggle spends almost all of his time out here, even when the weather is quite poor. Well, I like it, Mr. Rain. It is very beautiful. That was irony. No, I do. I used to rain all the time in those hours. Hmm. So we, we had a joke. There was, there was four seasons. Lots, there was, there was raining, and there was still raining, and there's it just been done raining, and it's about to 31. rain, and that was, you know, that's the year, the four sections. Um, basically, you can you can easily find that the tracks that he motions you over towards. Yeah, like um, there's basically tracks all over the place. Shvim looks like he's been walking around this garden all over the place. You can see that there are fairly worn-in paths around the garden that are probably made by someone walking the same path over and over and over again. And you can see that there is a, uh, uh, the other guard will take you over, and you can see a trail leading away from the garden, out the, the gate, out back, um, and heading off into the east. And it's uh, about three days old. Uh, it, lo it looks to be pretty old. Um, there are a couple of little uh, pieces of wood that have been put into the ground next to the markers um, with uh, uh, little uh, notations on it. It looks like someone's carved something on the wood. What are these? Uh, those are our markers. Um, th the third guard, he has a lot of predictions on what certain things mean uh, when Poggle leaves. And, well, it's boring out here, so we indulge him when we are on duty. She goes... I'd like to she, talk to this man. She goes heading out. She's yeah. like... Someone who seems crazy sounds like a perfect she, I was going to say, yes. She heads out, kind of I following mean, the tracks experience. for a bit. I mean, it works out pretty good for um, the She's trying to see for, you know, if... And, well, since he you know, seemed to talk about hunting, she's trying to see if she can figure out what he's hunting. Okay. Um, heading away from... If there's anything physically there, because she understands there might not be, but... He heading away from the uh, estate, um, it's basically going into just a little bit of, of uh, woodlands. It's a small extension to the, the jungle. Yeah, he, it doesn't, doesn't look like it's... You can't really tell much of anything from the tractors themselves, other than the fact that they're going... They're, they're leaving in a straight line away from the estate. Okay. Um, you can tell that he doesn't make deviations for things being in his way, he just walks through it. So like he walks through bushes and you can see obvious signs where it must have been problematic to walk straight through a thorn bush. But he does walk straight through the thorn bush. Huh. Any torn bits of clothing, blood, anything? Um, doesn't seem to be. No. Alright, mm -hmm. let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Huey, you know, Huey will after a short bit, you know, she's not going to go super far in because, well, she's not going to just encounter something strange out here with one knife. If it's a natural creature, she can deal with it, but <laughs> she turns back around. Also, she really doesn't want this guy to get hurt, and so... We would like to talk to the one with the crazy guard. We'd, like we'd like to talk to the crazy guard, if you don't mind. 
Um, well, Aaron being the one that's near you says, I do not believe he would appreciate that. I don't think he's crazy either, but he's well, more... The one with the feelings. I got a feeling he ain't crazy either. It's just sort of the faster way of referring to you. Because, see... He will not be here for several months. Oh, uh -huh. Where the hell is he? He's the last of us on duty. I just finished my stay on duty. Right, so where is he? I do not know where the others go. I typically go to the city, but I do not generally see him there. So you work with Pilk, and you don't know what he does in his off time? I don't work with him. Only one of us is on duty at a time. Right, but see, you have the same job. I don't think he knows, Jack. I know he doesn't know, and it doesn't make sense. Ask the other one. If in your garden a host. He's not human. You don't understand him. Talk to the other one. He ain't back yet. He's walking with Woodwind. So I'm kidding time when I'm waiting. Okay. So you can continue to question Aaron, and Aaron just doesn't Does not understand know. why you care. Like, why you would care what the other people that are doing that they're not working with you. Out of character, if somebody's job is to guard a house and there are other security staff and they don't know what that security staff does in their off time, that is not somebody you want to pay money to protect anything. Yeah, but he's not the boss. He's just another employee. Right. I'm just saying. So the, like, the other, no, you do pay money to this man. This is one of the few men that any assassin comes within any range into the edge of your vision and you know he's there. Coming. No, right, yes, but... <laughs> If, for example, to do is he has a co-worker that he trusts that he doesn't know anything about, then he trusts that co-worker, and that co-worker could be paid for by somebody else. He trusts that co-worker because his boss does. Right. 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 No, one's, anyway. no one here is saying this is a good system. Right. No. It's just that this is, is the system. This is the system. It seems to work. How, how are my two lurkers doing? Are you guys doing all right? I think we're going to head out. You're going to head out? I have to build another chest of... For a Christmas present. Oh, that's uh, fun. Uh, uh, um, well, this I is hope. one of two, and the last one's about three hours. Uh, uh, this one, how many? We are oh, going. To, what, what time does Jared need to go? Jared's going to need to go any minute now. So. Okay, so we will go ahead and pause the recording. All right, so getting into game after the break. Um, we spent a little bit of time discussing stuff out of character, basically how they are going to want to go about things. Um, I will put a description up of what the group's goals are now for. Canine and Ketres and Poggle. Um, the group has made it to the Kalinta estate um, and right now are speaking with uh, Aaron and the other guard on duty whose name has yet to be picked up. <laughs> so, um, I guess someday we'll ask him his name. Yes. We did. He can't remember it. I, I can't remember his name. <laughs> okay. One day you will be updated with his name when once I get my. my we book we asked him and he looked at us funny for a second and then said, I don't remember. I don't know. Um, I can't confuse puzzles. sometimes. Also, puzzles. the group now has a bunch of rituals. Um, okay. They finished shopping in the break. Yes. Sorry, I just found one more that I wanted to add. Uh, Thief's Lament. It's a straight minus five to stealth and thievery checks. Our house is going to be like security central. <laughs> I feel lady. like Chunk gives a, a two... A four thumbs up, in fact, <laughs> to that particular one. Right. Yes. So that's going to yeah. add another 360 to it's, our total. Uh, it's 2550, still under three. Okay. So, um, again, you guys went out. Um, the, the unnamed guard showed you the path leading off to the east, and you guys were in the house talking with Aaron. Aaron. And so, he wanders back. So, you guys, the unnamed guard and he will come back into the house. Um, it looks like he's gone. Straight. I mean, pretty much straight path, ignoring all obstacles. So it'd be easy to follow. Possibly. It depends on how bad the ground gets further in. But also, I didn't want to go. Fear from it. Yeah, Kiwi just shrugs. I, I'm not overly worried about tracking, but I don't know what's out there. So I did not bad. see that he was tracking or following anything in particular. I'm going to go ahead and add this, since she said it's cool. So. So. Uh, how about, how about, how about I just call you Knuckles for now until you remember your name. So, Knuck. The other, the other <laughs> guard. What does it he do when he ain't garden? Hmm. Well, uh, he does miscellaneous things throughout the year. Uh, why do you ask? I'm just wondering where he is at the moment. I'd like to talk to him at some point if we could. 
Good. I'm not sure where he is at the moment. Uh, typically, when his month is over, he goes and spends a little bit of time in the marsh with the uh, hive hunters. I don't know how long he typically stays with them, but from what I've heard from him in the past, he typically doesn't stay there very long and then heads back to Kanai. So he lives in Kanai? Oh. Sort of. Yeah, he stays at Inns. He technically lives here. Each one of us have our own room in the estate. What's his name? Malik. Malik. And when he ain't working, He's, he don't live here, he lives elsewhere. Sometimes he stays here, um, but typically only for a few days on the trip one way or the other. Generally speaking, either right before he goes on duty or right after he gets off of duty, he will head to the marsh and hide hunt for a little while, and then he'll come back here, spend a little bit of time here if he had left right after he got off of duty, and then he'll go to the city for a while. All right. Into the marsh we go. I have <coughs> an object. Um, we can at least see if we can track him for part of the day. Um, maybe come back here if it starts getting too dark. Well, well make sure we bring Chile and hopefully we'll run into a bar guard so we can get this sorted. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? It would be very nice. Just convenient. having a problem that we can punch in the face instead of having to talk our ways around. Do you, do you not need rooms? I was given the impression by Aaron that you were going to need rooms. Oh, hi. We might After we come them. back. Well, Just not right now. We got some cannon to do. Right, hunting to do. Looking. Cannon. But anyway. Sure. Okay. Hunting and I thought we were capturing, yeah. not killing. Well, Chile is going to take care of the cannon, part, <coughs> but we may have to distract it so that we can introduce it to Chile. But it's inside the dude we want to talk to. No. I'm just stomping around in the marsh all at the same time. I don't exactly understand, but I figured that I can solve the problem by setting it on fire because it generally works. Um, probably. When you set your phones on fire, they usually turn to go away. <laughs> so <laughs> she just she just shakes her head. She's like, "We will probably." Um, well, well most of the people too. will need rooms. More like I will probably just stay in the garden and return. Of course, you're welcome to. We will need to get some of the house staff from the village in order to make up rooms here. Uh, Typically, when the master steps out, we don't keep the house staff on. Well, if, they, if you can get someone used to make up enough rooms for... Um, Jack? <laughs> well, Jack, Chunk? Iris, Chunkus. Do you have a, Do you have any rooms that's big enough for, uh, for a quark? Yes, of course. Actually. All right, little brother. All right. On with us. I'll figure it out. Into the wood!